Good morning, Team Alabama. Here is another Achieve 3000. We're going to read, So You Want to Write a TV Show. So You Want to Write a TV Show. Please find it on your Chromebook and on Clever and Achieve 3000. You are going to do your before reading poll, and then you're going to read the stretch article with me. The vocabulary that we will encounter today is antagonist, and it is one who opposes another, especially the hero in the story. So usually it's kind of the villain, the evil person, the antagonist. It's not the main character because it's usually the good guy, but the antagonist is usually the bad guy. A plum is another word you may encounter. Assurance, self-confidence. Protagonist, the main character in a novel, play, or movie, the hero. Protagonist is the hero. Antagonist is the evil guy, the bad guy. Okay, and those are your words that you'll encounter today. So you want to write a TV show from Red Bank, New Jersey. Like a thunderbolt, it hits you, an idea for a new TV show. You jot it down, you obsess over it while you're eating, while you're walking, and even while you're sleeping. And you talk it through with your BFF. Now, your creative partner, building out a concept for a crazy cartoon, a superhero fantasy, or a teen rom-com, complete with protagonists, antagonists, and plot lines. Flash forward, your idea has been green-lighted for production, and now you're in the writer's room where the real magic begins. It's time to develop compelling characters and believable dialogue that bring your vision to life. So how do writers turn an idea into an actual TV show that leaves viewers laughing, crying, and thinking? And coming back for more? According to veteran TV writers, it requires a dynamic mix of talent, skill, discipline, and the ability to play well with others. Writing Team Assemble As a most basic job description, TV writers develop ideas for shows and write scripts for episodes, TV commercials, and other projects. One person may have the original idea for a new comedy or drama series, and write the first episode or pilot, but after that, it typically becomes an intensely collaborative process, meaning lots of people work on it together. A team of writers is usually assembled to meet and bounce ideas off one another in the writer's room. Once a first draft of an episode is written, the writing team analyzes the script page by page and line by line, offering constructive criticism and fresh ideas. Based on that feedback, another draft is written and another. As many revisions are ne as necessary until the team feels the script is solid. The actors may even join the process for a table reading, offering their input, which may then be incorporated into another revision before the final script is approved. All this is done while meeting tight deadlines to keep the show on schedule. And in short, TV writers often work long hours under intense pressure. But if they're part of a good team, the work can be exciting, fun, and rewarding. Starting out, a love of writing is the sine qua non for TV writers and those aspiring to the career must be devoted to developing their writing skills, meaning that's essential. It's like part of the job, you have to do it. Okay, devoted to developing their writing skills, just like athletes or musicians are devoted to improving their abilities. After high school, young writers may continue their development by studying English drama or journalism, seeking every opportunity to write rewrite and revise. It's also imperative to read, 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 not to mention watch, 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 especially in the genres they're most interested in. Neophytes in the TV writing business often start out as interns and production assistant, assistants, 
But by helping out in the writer's room, they get to observe the production process from the inside. At some point, they may be asked to help write a scene or two, and little by little, they gain experience and responsibility. More than creativity. Although writing ability and experience are important parts of developing a career as a TV writer, there are plenty of other qualities that improve the chances of success. Discipline and determination, and plenty of aplomb, are necessary to meet deadlines and persevere in the face of criticism. Developing a thick skin can come in handy. Good writing teams thrive on collaboration or working together. So being a good teammate capable of putting group goals before personal ambitions is also important. Yet, even for writers with all those attributes, the job can be challenging because working in TV land is highly competitive and hit shows are few and far between. But for those who love the thrill of seeing and hearing their words and ideas shared far and wide and working with quick-witted colleagues who enjoy collaboration and pushing each other to improve, if that kind of creativity sparks your ambition, there just might be a job as a TV writer shimmering in your future. Okay, you're going to go ahead and read your article at your Lexile level and answer your activity questions for So You Want to Write a TV Show. Make sure that you work towards achieving 100% would be awesome, but at least a 75%. So go ahead and do that at this time. Make sure you have your before reading poll finished as well. Have a great rest of your day, Team Alabama.